The reality is that we all need a certain amount of stress, a certain amount of anxiety to perform well. If we don't care about that exam that we're gonna have tomorrow, we'll probably fail. If we're gonna cross the street and a truck is coming at us, we have release of adrenaline. We have release of a hormone that we call cortisol. We wanna jump out of there, and adrenaline and cortisol are gonna help us do that. So there's that good amount of stress. But if all day long you're feeling like a truck is coming at you, day after day after day, that's gonna take a toll on the body. And uh, the amygdala obviously here is, has greater activation yes. in the PT. We were able to image children that had experienced trauma and compare those brain images with children that didn't have an experience of trauma, and didn't have symptoms. Right, an exaggerated fear response. An exaggerated fear response. With decreased activation in areas that we need to control that emotion in the frontal areas. Exposure to early adversity and trauma literally affects the structure and function of children's developing brains. So the kid next to them hits them or the teacher reprimands them in a way that uh, they're uncomfortable with, right? Literally what they're feeling, that activation is like there was a truck coming up.